Hi, in this next video, I'm going to show you how to use Blogger in order to create your own blog. The first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and log into your Gmail account. If you're part of High School District 214, just log into gaps.d214.org and use your NetID. So once you're logged in, you're going to want to go ahead and click on that 3 by 3 square box that is on the top where I usually where you click on Google Docs and things like that and just kind of open that up for a second. So when you open that up you're going to notice that you have obviously all these options that you're used to seeing Google Drive, Docs, Sheets and all those things but I want you to go down and click on more. Now from there you have some more options that will pop up but I still want you to go down and click on even more from Google. So now with this page you're going to see all the different products that are available to you through Google and I want you to scroll all the way to the bottom and you should be able to see Blogger. Now if you can't find it on the screen for whatever reason you could just do a Google search and oops, Blogger and it should be the first thing that pops up so Blogger and then you would click on that as well. So once you are in you should again have one tab open with your Gmail account and then you have Blogger sitting right here. Now when you go to sign in you should just have to click on sign in and should automatically be signed into Blogger. You shouldn't have to go through the whole sign in process again. If you do have to um, then you want, just want to use your regular uh, Gmail login whatever that may be. So now I will be on basically my blog homepage. So now this is where I would house all of my different blogs. You can see I have several different blogs on here that I've started and done along the way and this is where all my different blogs are housed. So you guys will probably have have a blank spot right here. So what we want to do right now is we want to create a new blog. Now I will give you time later on in this video to customize it and things like that but for right now let's all stay within the same templates and not play around too much just so we can make sure that we're all on the same page here. So I want to go ahead and click on new blog and now I want to title my blog. The title doesn't matter as much as the address and I'll get into that in a, in a minute. So my title of my blog that I'm going to start here is Mr. Naughton is my homeboy. All right. so now Mr. Naughton is my homeboy and I'm going to write a blog about how good of friends myself and Mr. Naughton are. The next thing is the address. The address needs to be somewhat unique because if I just have, let's say for example, the last name Smith and I want to make my address smith.blogspot.com, uh, I can't because it's a pretty common last name. So you want to have something to do with your last name, maybe your net ID uh, number, something like that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to title it something kind of specific. So I'm going to say um, Velk uh, Naughton friends and that is going to be my blog address. You can see that blog address is available which is great to hear. And now here are the different templates that are available to me. For right now I would like you to stay within simple just so mine looks the same as yours and it's easier for you to follow. So once you get your blog address set you're going to want to go ahead and click on create blog. And it might take a minute because it's creating a whole new URL for you. And then you're going to be brought to this page. Um, it might ask you about a domain name. Just click on no thanks for right now. That's not anything important. So right now you have no post. So this is kind of the, uh, give the, the statistics about my blog views, what I have available, how many people have viewed my blog. Obviously no one's viewed my blog because it's just created. So what I want to do from here is I want to go ahead and I want to click on new post. And now you can see when I click on new post, it's just going to look like a blank white page where I kind of don't have anything on here. If I want to see what my actual blog looks like, I would click on View Blog. And you can see here's my blog, Mr. Not as my homeboy, and I have no posts yet. So we're going to talk about how to post, where to post, and uh, what to do from there. So let's say I have my post here, and I'm going to title my post today's date. So today is 9-22-2016, and I'm going to write uh, my first blog post here. So my... My friend is Mr. Naughton. Right, so now I have uh, my first blog post done. If I want to preview it to see what it, will, what it will look like, I can click on preview and it will tell me I'm in preview mode and I'll have the date as well as um, uh, my first post there. Now, once I'm ready to publish my post, 
I will go right up here and I will click on publish. So now you can see that my post is published. I can go back in and edit it. Um, sometimes it'll give you this white screen here. Just refresh the page and it'll come right back. So now I have my post. I can go on. I can view it to see what it looks like to all my viewers. And here it is, right? I can see, um, you know, I can share it on Twitter, Facebook, and do all these things if I, if I absolutely want to. Um, I can comment on my post, uh, things of that nature. So now, um, as I go through, as I want to add posts to my blog, I will just continue to go onto here, click on New Post. And let's say I have my post for tomorrow, 923. Uh, so now Mr. Knott and I are no longer friends. And I would go ahead and I would click on Publish. So now if I want to view my blog, I can go ahead and I can view it up here and I can see what my blog looks like. So you can see my post from 922, uh, my friend is Mr. Naughton, 923, we are no longer friends. Okay, so now you can see kind of what your blog looks like to your audience. Now you may take a look at this simple feature and say, this is pretty boring. I want a way to kind of customize it, make it my own, things of that nature. You can definitely do that. So what you want to do now is you want to go back uh, into this page where you are in your blog. So I'm in my blog, Mr. Naughton is my homeboy. Again, if you've gotten kind of lost along the way here, again, very, very simple trick up to this point. Let's go to our home page really quick. So I'm going to show you how to get back to where we are. Click on Blogger. And again, that will bring you back to the page, the home page that has all of your blogs. You should be able to see the blog you just created right here. Click on that. And now we're back to the spot where I have all of my posts, my overview of it, and things like that. I can edit an old post. I can view it. I can share that particular post with someone. But now I'm going to talk about uh, the view of the blog and how to change it and customize it and make it your own. There are some other options down here you can play with later, but for right now I want you to look at layout. I'm sorry, I apologize for that. I want you to look at template. Template. So now as you take a look at template, you're going to see what's live on your blog and what it looks like to your audience. What you want to do here is you want to click on customize. So now we are in the customization window for your blog. And now what you can do, let's stay in simple right now. You can play with some of these other uh, templates later, but let's just stay in simple right now because I think it's the easiest to customize. Um, you can see if I click on dynamic views, it'll give you a different view of what your blog will look like. You can kind of scroll down and take a look at it and see uh, um, how it looks to your audience. But let's stay in simple right now. And again, you can go back and play later if you want. So now I'm in my simple view and let's say I want to change the background a little bit. I can click on background and you know it can give you, you can change the color scheme if you want um, you know and kind of play around with that as you go. Um, as far as the background image, if I click on this, uh, this spot right here, I can change the background image to something here. Um, again, changing the colors and changing the whole color scheme of my blog, which is kind of neat. Again, you can upload your own image. Um, I don't encourage you to do that too much because it has to be a certain size image. The image has to be big enough to fit the whole thing. Sometimes it could be pixelated. All the images they give you here through Google are pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on the one that maybe has fire because why not? Fire is cool. And then I will click on done. So now I have my different theme for my uh, background theme for my blog post makes it look kind of cool. And again, if you want to change uh, anything else, um, again, you can go ahead and play around with different themes and, and uh, templates and backgrounds. The other things on here are not worth messing with. Uh, I wouldn't touch these too much um, unless you really want to get uh, in depth with it. Like you can change the text and you can change uh, the color of the links and things like that. But I would stay pretty much in templates and background unless you really want to get pretty complicated with it. So once you're done and you have the background image that you want, you can kind of preview it and see what it looks like. You can click on apply to blog. See it says template applied. This is what's live on my blog. So when I go back to blogger, you're going to see what's live in my blog. Uh, you'll see I have this with all the fire coming up, everything pretty awesome, and we have it. Now, how would I share my blog? 
Very, very simple. If I am on this page and I go to View Blog, I'm in my velknautenfriends.blogspot.com and I can see that I would take this link and this is what I would share either on Schoology or with your teacher uh, and so forth. So that is how to create and customize a, um, a blog on Blogger using your Google account. If you have any questions, feel free to talk to me or your teacher. Thank you.